Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. I realized that I hadn't shown you guys the fry for a while so I decided this week's video is going to be an update on all of them. So this the fish that you're looking at right now are the second batch of fry from Sakara and Dodge and one thing I would like to go ahead and point out is I'm not done calling yet so you're going to see some fish that will end up being culled. Um, they're what I call failure to thrive, which means that they are not only the runts, but they're just not gaining weight. They're not eating the way I want them to. They're just too small for my liking. Um, another thing I want to point out is some of them, if you look close enough, you'll see that the fork in their caudal lobes are not as angled as most breeders would like and that's something that most breeders would call for but for me i've got a couple fish that doesn't have um the correct angle in the caudal fork but it doesn't really affect the fish in any way it doesn't hurt them swimming it doesn't affect their quality of life so i didn't feel as if that was necessarily humane of me to do just to um, euthanize them just because they didn't look like what I wanted them to look like uh, in that sense. The only thing that I will call for is if there is a major defect that they cannot survive adulthood. Um, like a spinal deformity or a... Um, maybe some of them don't have tails at all, maybe, um, something like that. But as far as that goes, I did not call for that this time. So I left them alone. They will be sold as defects, uh, in this batch. So I'm still doing the three tier pricing system. So if it's show quality, it's 20. If it's pet grade, it's 15 and if it is a defect it is 10 if you buy more than one defect fish you can get a discount and you will need to message me about that for more information i was originally saying that they got these dudes will be for sale june 1st however they could be for sale as early as that previous monday which i believe is may 27th um that could be something um, that I may end up doing. One thing I need to note is I'm not keeping any of these fish. So all the fish you see, besides the ones I'm going to call, will be for sale. Um, I do not have the room to keep any more fish. Um, you will see my keepers from the last batch and those are the last fish that I'm keeping as far as breeding because I need to save space for a pair of butterfly telescopes that I'm going to be breeding soon. And these guys are the keepers that I was talking about. So the one you're looking at, her name is Zara and the uncolored one, his name is Dixon. I'm not sure if he is a male yet. I am pretty sure that Zara is a girl However, the other one, not sure if she or he ends up being a female, Dixon will go to Dixie. So, I am taking these two with me to the Goldfish Show. And they will be with me at the Louisville Goldfish and Koi Show Memorial Day weekend. So, if you guys want to see them, see me, meet me, whatever, you can see me there. Um, these two were born in January and they have been some spunky little dudes. Uh, I believe their birthday was January 5th. So right now they're in a 29 gallon tank and very very soon they will be moving with mom and dad. So I was kind of letting them um, grow out a little bit, get a little bit more size on them before I move them into the bigger tank with mom and dad. And they're getting there. They're getting pretty, uh, pretty large. And they are starting to get wind tissue, which is really interesting to see on these dudes. And 
I have been feeding them a little bit more than I used to, but not so much. Like, they're not getting fed more than three times a day. Um, they do get fed steamed egg every now and then, but that's not the main staple of their diet. They've been getting Rapashi Super Gold and Jappy's Growth Recipe. That's kind of their main thing. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>